What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Today we're going to make a terrestrial enclosure out of this. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. Farm you turn when possible. No, we're not. And this idea I got from a YouTuber called Tarantula Sam. Head on over there, check out his video. I'll be doing the same thing he did. I got these at an estate sale for like a dollar each, but you can also get them at Hobby Lobby. They have several different sizes. And I do have one brand new in the box and it was $6.99. When you get these, when you buy stuff from Hobby Lobby, make sure you use their coupon to save some money. So that's what I did with this one. But I'm going to start with this one here. I have it marked up. I'm going to pull you guys in close and show you what I'm going to be doing. For this size, the, the overall size is 8 and 1 quarter inches. So I came up from either one side to either the top or the bottom whichever end you choose for your top or your bottom I came up two and a half inches here and now I'm going to take my Dremel tool and then I'm going to cut I'm going to cut the lid right there and take it off but when you make your when you make your your measurement Make sure that you continue it up on the top portion of this lid so that you don't lose your line when you're going through. All right, let's go ahead and get this cut and then I'll come back to you. All right, got two halves and y'all know this is not perfect <laughs> and it's okay. It doesn't have to be. So I'm just going to clean these up, the edges here, all that melted plastic. I'm just going to break that off and chuck it to the side. I'll clean up both sides. It's just where the plastic melted. There we go. Got that one all nice and clean. And I'll do the same with this. Alright, so look at that. So I'm gonna hit that up real quick with the with the Dremel. Get that little notch off of there. And this side seems to be okay. Not perfect, but it's okay for now. Um, but right now, let me cut this little piece off here. And I am wearing protection. I have on safety glasses and also a face shield all right i'm gonna move the camera just in case a piece pops up and hits the camera i don't want that to happen now to check the fit wow that's pretty snug in there but that's okay this right here is going to be the bottom anyway so that's going to be for your reservoir so now the next thing I need to do is in order for the hinge to work on this properly I'm gonna have to take some of this lip off some of this lip here on both sides so I'm gonna make some marks that way the hinge will work properly on this I'm not measuring this I'm probably should but I ain't gonna just need to take a little bit of this lip off just so I can get the hinge to work on this properly otherwise this is not going to open at all show you my marks I 
that mark there. So I'm just going to take this little lip off here, just this ledge, just this ledge portion, okay, on all four. Go ahead and do that, and I'll come back. I have my gaps there. You can see I had to take a little bit more off because this still was getting blocked somehow. So now that it's doing very well, I can open and it'll close. So make sure you test fit it to make sure you can at least open it. All right, so, and there's a small gap here. If you feel like your spiderling or your sling can get out of that, just push it together. All right, so now that I know where my top is, my bottom is, now I need to drill a single hole up here for a pin. That pin is going to keep this door from accidentally opening or the spider from pushing it open. I've seen spiders push up on stuff like that before. All right. And for the pin, I'm going to be using this nail here that's got a double head on it so it's easy to pull out. And I'm going to be cutting it off. I just need to first make sure that when I put it in, it's long enough. When I put it, when I put the pin in, I want to make sure that it's long enough that it'll go through the lip and the top of the container itself. So I'm going to measure for that. I don't want it too long and I don't want it too short. I want it to be able to go in just at the right angle. And then I'm going to take my Dremel tool and cut that down. Actually this, I'm going to put this in my vise to cut it down. There we go. That threw a lot of sparks. So if you're going to cut this with your Dremel, be very, very careful. You don't want to ignite anything. It's not perfect, but it's okay. It'll work perfectly for my purposes. So now my next thing is to get a drill bit that's the same diameter as this nail and drill in through the lid and the box right here in the top. And I measured for the center and I just put me a little mark right there and I'm going to drill right through that little lip. When all else fails, take your nail, something to hold it with, and a heat source. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this nail up and melt it through the plastic. I can get it through, but it's pretty snug, so I'm going to heat this up until it gets really, really hot, and then push it through. It'll, that way it'll melt right through the plastic and it'll give me a nice, nice bond or a nice hole. Heat this up. There we go. And I'm going to do the same for the lid. Get it nice and hot. That way it'll go right on through. There we go. All right. I'm going to set that down on my vise. Let it cool. Now I'm going to let that cool. And this should go right in. Should be an operative word. <laughs> ah, need to widen it up just a tad bit more. All right, this fits a lot better now. So I took the nail, I heated it up, and did that inside the hole. And got my pin here. It goes in just like that. And 
that will keep the lid from popping up and it doesn't pop out so super easy either and the spider cannot cannot push this up because the pins on the outside that goes in nice and easy now there we go all right next step is to put on our hinge I got these acrylic hinges from eBay super cheap just put it in and you can find out what how much you want to pay for how big of a hinge you want and these are these are one and three quarters one and three quarters this way and now to put the hinge on you can either use silicone or you can use hot glue and I'm just going to eyeball this and try and make sure it's in the center and then I'm going to put some hot glue on it I would use I would use some um, silicone but I'm wanting to use this enclosure today and um, I'll be filming separately what's going in here but anyway I'm going to be using hot glue for this one the silicone if you want to use silicone you want to make this several weeks in advance because of all of the fumes that come off of it while it's curing and once it's cured and dried after it, it takes a few weeks y'all I'm telling you it takes a long time I'm gonna make some more of these but I'm gonna make make them with silicone but this this particular enclosure I am going to be using just regular the Gorilla Glue hot glue and put that on let me go ahead and warm up I'm gonna clean up all these other tools get out my hot glue gun and get that heated up and then put this on I almost missed a step y'all <laughs> air holes I want to go ahead and put these air holes in first and I'm gonna put them here in this lid here and want to mark off where that's gonna be and I guess I'll start my air holes somewhere here I'm gonna put some here and then I'm gonna put some here on the top side of the box and because this stuff because I about ruined the box here I'm gonna be using my hand drill for all of these holes but like I said if you have a battery operated drill this would be perfect for that actually you know what I'm gonna go get my battery operated drill because that's going to be a lot of air holes in there. And you can pick any design you want. There's tons and tons of vent patterns on, on Google. Just Google images and put in circle vent pattern and all kinds of stuff will pop up. So I'm going to go pick out a pattern, put it down on here, put it here, and then drill them out. Got my holes drilled. That's my lid. And got the hole still in the box y'all what had happened was <laughs> there's a crack there's a crack there I accidentally dropped the drill onto the box while I was drilling it and left a little crack there it's superficial it's okay it'll still serve its purpose it'll it's fine it's just not broken all the way through thank goodness for that or else I would have had to start all over that would have been horrible you see that notch out right there from where I tried to drill the hole at first and went a little too too heavy with the with the Dremel or the rotary tool and then I took this and rinsed it out washed it out totally let it dry overnight and now today we're gonna put put our our tops and covers on gonna glue this part on this here is gonna be glued in place and then we're gonna put our other lid here in then we're gonna glue on the hinge and this one is small enough that I only need one hinge so I'm just gonna put one hinge on here in the middle ish middle ish <laughs> And then we're gonna put some substrate in here and then this will be done then we can rehouse our spider but right now I'm waiting on my glue gun right there to heat up thoroughly let's see oh just about 
got a little bit coming out just about us almost there and I can glue this and that hole this hole here on the end that right there is going to be covered up by this so I'm not even going to worry about that hole okay and you guys this is this is cut crooked if it's cut crooked don't worry about it it's okay it, it doesn't have to be pretty or perfect it just has to be good enough okay so if you make a mistake if it's not perfect it's okay it doesn't have to be what I'm after is functional does this function the way that I need it to yes yes it will so being perfect and pretty has its place in things but here and on my channel perfect and pretty has no place <laughs> Y'all said y'all I joke and kid about that, but I am serious about it doesn't have to be pretty or perfect, okay? Because nothing I do is ever perfect, ever. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this thing glued in place. I'm just gonna put some glue around here, hold it down for 10 seconds, and keep it moving. And I'm using just regular glue gun. Here we go. Put it in place. Don't worry about that stuff oozing out. Don't worry about that. It's going to be all right. I'll hold it in place for 10 seconds. And it's gushed and oozed out. And that's okay. We're not going to worry about that just yet. See how it's dripping down? That's fine. We can go in with the knife later on after this dries and cut that off, okay? So don't don't worry about that. It's going to be too hot to mess with anyway. Just want to have make sure you have firm hold on this, push down on it firmly, not enough to break or crack it. Just hold it in place so it doesn't move around. There we go. That's good enough. And look at there. Glue is coming out of there, so that sealed up that little hole there, and that's okay. It's still a little bit wet, but once once this dries, we'll be able to peel that part off that's kind of oozed out. I'm not even going to worry about it. All right. Got that done. Next step, I'm going to put the top part of the lid in place, and I have a pretty sizable gap there. All I'm going to do is take this and push on the top and close that gap up. See, look at that. Closed up. Perfect. Then I'm going to put some glue on both sides of my hinge. And the way I like to do my hinges, the raised up part of the hinge, this middle section, I like to have that on the bottom stationary part. Because I feel like when the lid is open, that that bottom part will help support the lid. I don't know how true that is, but that's just the way I like to do my lids. And I'm going to try and line that up in the center. And the good thing about this glue is if it's wrong or if it goes crooked, which you know I don't... I'm okay if it's crooked. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you, if it's not placed correctly, once it dries, you could pop it right back off, okay? So don't worry about it if it gets out of out of place or something. One thing you do want to be careful of is we really don't want the glue in the actual moving parts of the hinge itself. So be careful of that. All right, I'm going to hold this for 10 seconds. I'm so excited about this build. I'm going to make more of these, 
The other ones I'm going to use silicone, but this one I wanted to try it with with the um, the hot glue just to see how well it works. All right, I'm going to leave that, let that dry, and I'm going to give this a few minutes to cool because this will be a moving working part. Uh-oh, see, something's happening. Oh, glue got into the hinge part. All right, I'll open that up a little bit. Yeah, glue got in there. Okay, that's good. All right, I'm going to turn off my glue gun. I'm going to let this dry for about 20 or 30 minutes, and I'll come back. I'm going to set these two cups up here just to keep things mashed down and squished together so that um, so that it doesn't get out of sorts, okay? And I'll be back. The glue has dried. This thing is good to go. One thing that I would change, and I'm just now noticing it, is when this... Now this is designed to work either as terrestrial or arboreal. Either way, but what I would change is these to me are too low. These air holes here are way too low. I should have put them a lot further up, right up here. That's what I should have done so that when this is laying down and you fill it up with substrate, you're not covering up your air holes on this side. But too late for that. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and call this a done project now what I can do remember I was telling you guys to wait till this dries let me go get a knife and we can just cut that off take a little box cutter here and just cut that off see no biggie Comes right off. There we go. And don't forget our handy dandy pen. There we go. Nice, secure, and closed. All right. So there you have it, guys. Awesome. y'all this is easy you can probably bang one of these out in probably an hour the longest thing that it will take you to do is probably to drill the holes so stay tuned for the video to see the spider that's going in this enclosure so stay tuned for that video thank you for watching if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video bye